Use this animation guide only as a reminder. This animation guide is for Avibella with the single-handed inserter. Do not use this video as a guide for Avibella with the two-handed inserter. For complete insertion instructions, please refer to the full summary of product characteristics and prescribing information approved in your country. Use aseptic technique during the entire insertion procedure. First, remove the sealed tray containing Avibella from the box and inspect the tray carefully. Do not use the product if the packaging, inserter, or IUD is damaged. Lay the tray on a flat surface with the peel-off lid side up. Then, remove the peel-off lid from the tray. Next, remove the inserter from the tray by grasping the handle below the sliders and twisting gently. Do not attempt to remove the inserter by pulling on the tube. Ensure both the blue and green sliders are pushed fully forward. The single line marking on the handle will align with the single line marking on the blue slider. The double line markings on the handle will align with the double line markings on the green slider. Grip the handle, keeping your thumb or finger in the groove of the blue slider over the number one, and apply forward pressure while ensuring both sliders are pushed fully forward. When loading Avibella into the inserter, the IUD arms should be horizontal. Adjust the rotation of the IUD if needed by using a flat, sterile surface of the tray. While maintaining forward pressure on the blue slider, gently pull the thread straight back to load Avibella into the insertion tube. It is important to ensure that even tension is applied to both threads when pulling. Then, pull the threads upward or downward to lock the threads into the cleft at the bottom end of the handle. You must lock the threads into the cleft to prevent the IUD from moving out of the top of the insertion tube. Once locked in the cleft, let go of the threads and don't touch the threads during the rest of the procedure. After the IUD is loaded, continue to sustain forward pressure on the blue slider so that just the tips of the IUD are visible. You'll know Avibella has been loaded correctly when the IUD is completely within the insertion tube, when just the tips of the IUD arms are visible at the top of the tube. If the IUD is not correctly loaded, do not attempt insertion. The Avibella inserter can be reloaded. To release the IUD, pull the blue slider back with your thumb until the groove becomes aligned with the green slider. Gently pull the threads out of the cleft. Return the blue slider to the forward position and repeat the loading steps. Once Avibella is properly loaded into the inserter, adjust the flange to the measured uterine depth based on sounding. To adjust, place the flat side of the flange in the tray notch or against a sterile edge inside of the tray. Slide the insertion tube to move the flange to the correct measurement. Ensure the flat sides of the flange are in the same horizontal plane as the handle. If at any step there is a need to touch the flange or another sterile surface of the inserter or IUD, sterile gloves should be used. If required, you may bend or straighten the insertion tube to accommodate the anatomical orientation of the uterus. Be careful to avoid sharp bends to prevent kinking and do not touch above the flange unless you are using sterile gloves. Apply gentle traction on the tenaculum and continue to apply forward pressure on the blue slider while inserting the loaded insertion tube through the cervical os. Do not force the inserter. If necessary, dilate the cervical canal. Advance the tube until the upper edge of the flange is 1.5 to 2 centimeters from the external cervical os. Maintain forward pressure on the blue slider throughout the insertion process. Do not advance the flange to the cervix at this time. Using your thumb or finger, gently slide only the blue slider back. You will feel slight resistance initially to move the blue slider out of its starting position. Continue to move the blue slider back until you feel slight resistance again, as the blue and the green sliders will merge together to form a joint slider recess. Do not move the blue slider any more than is necessary to create the recess. 
maintain the green slider so that the double line markings on the slider and the insertion handle remain aligned. This will allow the IUD arms to open in the lower uterine segment. It is important not to pull the sliders back any further. Doing so could prematurely release the IUD at the incorrect location. Wait 10 to 15 seconds to allow for the arms of the IUD to fully open. Without moving the sliders, advance the inserter until the flange touches the cervix. If you encounter fundal resistance, do not continue to advance. Avibella is now in the fundal position. Fundal position is important to prevent expulsions. While holding the inserter steady relative to the cervix and maintaining the joint slider recess, move both sliders, blue and green together, down toward the number three on the handle until you hear it click and the green indicator is visible at the bottom of the handle. This signifies that the IUD is released from the insertion tube. Look at the cleft to ensure the threads were properly released and the green thread release indicator is visible. If the threads were not released, or if an audible click is not heard, grasp the threads and gently pull them out of the cleft. Now that the threads have been released, withdraw the inserter from the uterus. Use sharp, blunt-tip scissors to cut the threads perpendicular to the thread length, leaving about 3 centimeters visible outside the cervix. Do not cut the threads at an angle as this may leave sharp ends, and do not apply tension or pull on the threads when cutting them to prevent displacing the IUD. Avabella insertion is now complete. Please see the insertion instructions and important safety information within the full summary of product characteristics and prescribing information approved in your country.